Mr. Speaker, I call the honourable member David Clendon. Ten Akwe, Mr. Clendon. God, honest, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Kete mihi nui ki na manuhiri, na tapu o nati fatua o kaipara tena koto kato. Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to take a short call just to affirm the Green Party's support for this legislation as we endeavour to support all of these settlement bills. I'd just like to begin um, to take a moment simply to acknowledge, as others have done, um, rather a large gap in the Labour benches this morning. Uh, we reference, of course, our late and much lamented colleague Parakura, who always brought a distinct flavour to these debates. He is missed, uh, but his legacy continues and will do so far into the future. So one of the uh, mixed benefits of being an MP, and particularly a Northern MP, is that I travel routinely. Uh, my journey to work each Tuesday morning literally gives me a bird's eye view of the Kaipara Harbour and the landscape that surrounds it. And it's an extraordinary landscape, our largest harbour, um, a very rich landscape, historically an enormously productive landscape. The richness of that place, both culturally, um, after 300 years of occupation by Nahapu or Ngāti Whātua or Kaupara, and of course the ecological richness, the richness of the land and the sea, which of course attracted people to live there though so many years ago. And of course, sadly, over time, that landscape, both culturally and physically, both the environment, has been sadly degraded. And it's an unfortunate reality that now the work begins again, or continues, I should say, to restore both the quality of the cultural landscape and of the physical landscape, the ecology of that place. And that this settlement bill we debate and we will pass unanimously today, I'm sure, is a significant step towards that restoration. And for that, we applaud the work of those um, at the government level who have contributed to that. And I must commend Minister Finlayson, something I must confess Greens don't routinely do, but I do commend the Minister on his um, stated commitment to continue and to put energy and time into the Kaipara. Um, Sir, I mentioned degradation, and it's, it saddens me to think back to my childhood when driving around the countryside, you'd routinely hear people um, sneeringly remarking about Māori land, how one could identify Māori land, because that was the land growing gorse and with broken fences and no sign of much work being done. And, of course, what was missing from those statements, as was captured in the text of this bill, that notes under the Native Land Court established in 1862, that court was intended and did very successfully alienate Māori from their land. And it goes on in the bill to say the land, the law did not provide a way for the owners to collectively manage their land. This meant it was difficult for owners to accumulate capital and make improvements, and frequently owners had little option but to use sale proceeds to meet their immediate needs. And that has been part of the history of the Kaipara Rohi, as indeed it has been of the, um, of the, the entire motu of, the, of New Zealand generally. <coughs> now is a time for celebrating the fact that it, we have, in the course of these settlement bills, we see a significant step towards restoring the, um, the integrity of the land as, as in store as we restore the integrity of the mana, recognise the mana whenua for who they are and what they are. And in that sense, it is a genuine pleasure to be part of this process, albeit in a small way. A week or two ago, one of our Labour colleagues um, used a word which was not familiar to many of us, and I'm going to, in that spirit, um, introduce a new word and talk about the palimpsest of Kaipara. And that's a word which has many meanings, but in landscape terms, it's one I come across in a former life. It talks about the marks, the impressions that are left by human interaction with the land over time. And those marks can be sometimes erased. And it can be the contours of a hill where once there was a pa. It can be a kumara pit. It can be the remnants of a stone wall. But what we see around the Kaipara, as so many other places, are lines that reflect dispossession, alienation, degradation. 
and I believe that the passing of this bill will make a contribution to restoring so that in future people will look at that land and they will see impressions, they will see mark on, marks on the landscape that speak of productivity, of richness, of, of quality of life, of integrity of the environment. And that is the challenge that lies before us all to ensure our ongoing support beyond the speeches and the goodwill of today to ensure that we put our energies into to um, supporting the ongoing recognition of mana whenua throughout the country, in this specific case, of course, the mana whenua of Kaipara Harbour and the surrounding land. So a year or so ago, or in fact probably longer, two years perhaps, I was fortunate to be at Hahui at Puatahi Marae, which was a getting together of a group called the Integrated Kaipara Harbour Management Group. Not a, not a title that flows from the tongue, but it's an extraordinary and admirable um, coming together of Māori interests, of local hapu and whānau, of farmers, of conservation groups, of ordinary members of the public, of local government, and the common cause, the common purpose, is the restoration of the whenua and of the moana of Kaipara. The, the ambitious goal and the worthy goal of that group is to plant two million trees around the Kaipara by 2015, and that's an extraordinarily ambitious goal and one I'm sure they're well on the way to fulfilling. We know that as we restore the land, we are restoring people because people and their land are interwoven inextricably. If one is degraded, the other inevitably is degraded. As we restore the land, the rivers, the harbour, we are also restoring the life, the quality of life of the people who live in it and on it and whose tipuna have lived there for such a long time. So, so I can just say that um, community ground up it, um, initiatives like the Integrated Kaipara Harbour Management Group indicates to us that the communities often move faster than does the legislative process. In a sense, we are catching up with where the community is leading us, and notably where Nahapu, Naiwi, Katoa are leading us to restore this place, to restore this country to the, to the richness, to the quality that it deserves to be. Um, once again, our greetings to the people of Kaipara, our goodwill and our ongoing support from the Green Party. Kia ora koutou. Speaker.